Hi everyone, welcome back. So today is my high-end favorites or most used products in 2018. I have a bunch. I've done the drugstore version of this and talked about all my like drugstore or affordable products that I used in 2018. So if that's more your speed, check out that video. But these are the luxury or high-end or a little bit more expensive products that I used in 2018 and these were like my go-to. Some of them weren't discovered in 2018 um, but they're just you know like I said my most used. So sometimes people do these videos a different way like they'll do like their new products of 2018 that they found and loved and these are just my most used. So we're gonna get right into it and I actually have a giveaway in this video and I'm super excited about it because I asked to partner with the company and I said, hey, this was my favorite this for the year and I'd love to give it away to my subscribers. And so they said yes and I'm really excited for that. So stay tuned, let's just go ahead because there is a ton of stuff. Okay, let's start with brows. Now I had a few that I've talked about a lot before that I think were in my last yearly favorites but this is the benefit precisely my brow I love this I always kind of take this cap off because I don't like to have to take the cap off and then like do my brow so I always take the cap so these this part off but it does come with a cap so this part comes capped and then I always leave this one on but what I like about this is it just gets right in there it's a really fine tip and it just distributes enough product this is in number three I have found that that's my perfect shade for my eyebrows and then I always set with, this is the Benefit Ready Set Brow. This is just the best. It's waterproof. I just feel like it just sets my brows and it doesn't make them crunchy or gross. So those two from Benefit, love, and I'm pretty sure I've talked about those a lot. A newer thing for me this year was this, these are the NARS Brow Perfectors. I love these so much. I would almost say that I like it more than the Benefit Precisely My Brow. This shade is a medium brown cool. N-A-I-A -A is the shade name. So again, it has the spoolie on the other end. And then it just is like kind of the same sort of story. But I really like the way that this distributes product. And I like the color on this a lot. Okay, another product that I love so much and I feel like this gives me very feathery, natural looking brows are the, this is from uh, MAC. And this is called the Shape and Shade Brow Tint, and this is in the shade Fling. So on one end, it's like this very feathery uh, sort of felt tip. Now, it's this shade is light, so I sort of go in and really like mimic the front of my brows of like what brow hairs look like, and then you can get a nice line on it. And then this side I don't really use, but you can go in on the other side and there is just like this like shadow sort of fill in. I don't use that side, but great brow product. Love that a lot. And like I said, that was like a newer product of 2018 that I tried. This is from Urban Decay and it is the Naked Skin, the color correcting fluid in pink. Now I use that to clean up my brows just because I like the bright brow bone okay some people don't but I do so I clean up my brows with the pink and then I kind of set my eyelids with it and then I set it with an eyeshadow which I'll show you in a little bit but this has been like a go-to I love it and I just feel like it's nice and brightening and it just makes me feel awake okay let's move on to eye products I have three eyeshadow palettes that are my favorites for the year now the first two is what I'm really excited about because I'm doing a giveaway in this video of these both of these palettes from Jouer. Now these two palettes have been my absolute go-to and it's it's honestly true like I've used I'm gonna show you the other third palette that I use but to be honest with you on a daily basis I reached for these. This first one I'm gonna talk about because I use it the most and I get the most compliments every single time I wear this eyeshadow palette. This is the Jouer Springtime in Paris eyeshadow palette. I cannot tell you how amazing this palette is. You look at it and you don't think it's literally all that. You just don't. But let me tell you, there are these two shades right here which I always put in my crease and they're like the perfect mauve shade but look how pigmented these are it's like the perfect mauve shades so i put this in my crease and this in the outer corner which i do have on it today 
And then there's these two sort of like lighter shades right here, like a pink and a cream. I set my eyelids with these. They're super pigmented and just really beautiful. And then there's this other, I'm going to swatch it right, this brown shade. It has a really nice big mirror. This brown shade is a really great crease color. I mean, this, those are the most used colors in this palette. And then one more most used color is down here. And this is just a really nice, deep, dark brown shade. All of these eyeshadows are super pigmented, super blendable. Like, I cannot tell you how good this palette is. And I just, I tell the people every time they ask me, what are you wearing on your eyes? I'm like, I'm wearing this eyeshadow palette. But I don't, I don't think people realize, like, how good it is. It's just really, really good. The, the eyeshadows are just so pigmented and really, really easy to work with. Um, so I love this eyeshadow palette so much and like I said I use it all the time it's just a major go-to for me then Jouer came out with this palette this year which is the rose gold eyeshadow palette again has become one of my most used I cannot put this thing down actually I get ready with my friend on the phone most days um we just FaceTime and like get ready I mean because it's fun to put on your makeup with someone else and she's always like, I see you have not moved on from the Jouer eyeshadow palettes. And I'm like, no, I'm sorry. Why ditch a good thing? Like, I just, like, for someone who has so much makeup, I can't tell you. It's really nice to, like, actually know, like, hey, this is what I'm going to wear. And, like, it doesn't happen very often where someone who has, like, I have so much stuff. I have so much stuff. Okay, so with that, it's like... It gets hard to choose, but I know for a fact that these are th these two palettes are just like my most reached for because I just I like the look. Um, but this one is just has more neutrals. It does have a really really pretty like super brightening shade that I use all the time again. But it has some deeper browns and then it has some more pink and burgundy tones and some golds. It's just. Both of these palettes are just really quality and amazing. I am an affiliate with Jouer, so if you would like to get a discount, I'm going to leave my discount code. It is LOLA15OFF in all caps, and that will get you 15% off, and it is just, I mean, these palettes are totally worth it. So I'm going to do a giveaway with both of these palettes, so I'm going to send you a brand new one. They are amazing, and um, check below to enter the giveaway. Okay, the next eyeshadow palette that I've worn a ton this year is the Anastasia Soft Glam. I love this and it it didn't replace the modern renaissance for me but I think that this is a little bit like for someone for an everyday use palette this is a really great one to recommend to someone if they're wanting to get like an eyeshadow palette. First of all Anastasia eyeshadows are quality. Second of all this just has a really great color story in it. The colors are warm and beautiful and some goldens and some pinks and these are just really easy wearable shades the modern renaissance is a little bit more scary looking to someone who's not used to wearing sort of those reddish shades every single day i think that this is less intimidating but it does create a beautiful palette it has a really nice matte shade and it has deep dark shades for deepening up the look and it has some shimmers so it really does have it all i use this a ton this year and I mean, th those were just all my really strong go-tos for eyeshadow palettes. Now, for like a topper or a product that I used on the eyes a lot this year, and I've talked about it a lot, so you guys are going to know, but this is from Butter London, and these are the Butter Glazes, and this is, I think they're called Butter Glaze, or Glazen Eyeshadows. I'm not sure. The name is not on it, but... This is in the shade Spark, and it is what is on my lid right now. It's just this really pretty gold cream eyeshadow, and I just, you know, put my little finger in it and put it on, and it's almost like an antique gold. It's not like a bronzy antique gold. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, but make sure it, when you are buying this, I recommend if you are in store, make sure it's not dry. These are like a soft whipped sort of consistency, and they do dry out if you do not put the, the lid on tight. So you have to really be sure. Um, but this is what it looks like. And I mean, it's just this, like I said, it's just a really pretty golden shade. It lasts all day on my eyes. So I will put it on like I have it on today with the Jouer palette. And it just stays on my eyes all day. It doesn't break up. It doesn't crease. 
and I love it a lot. So sometimes I put it all over my lid and I don't even hardly do anything else in the crease and I'll just kind of blend it in and it just gives me just my perfect easy, easy look. It is so easy. So I'm not even wearing any wing liner or anything like that. I just kind of put that on and you know, boom, you can go out the door. I actually did this makeup in 10 minutes because I was leaving to go to my daughter's award ceremony and I had to quickly get something done. Okay, an eyeliner that I love this year is from Makeup Forever and this is the Artist Color Pencil. This is in the shade Boundless Bisque and then I use the All Around White. So those are the two shades. This one's more of a cream, the other one's more of a white, but this is just really nice in the waterline. It brightens things up. It's not what I have in my waterline right now, but I hate to tell you that is something that is from the Estee Edit and they like completely like canceled that line so that line you can't even get the pencil anymore and I hate it because every time I wear it someone's like what is in your waterline I'm like I don't know but I did use these I did use those pencils from Makeup Forever a ton this year and the two nude shades were my go-to so I am a proponent of drugstore mascara there are so many drugstore mascaras which I did include those in my drugstore video but I did have one high-end mascara that I was sent that I will repurchase because this is so good. I really love it a lot. This is the Monster Big from Lancome and this is just such a good mascara. I love it. It comes in waterproof as well. It has a big fluffy wand which I didn't think I would like but this just really builds lashes and I think that it builds up volume and length. Makes me feel like I'm wearing false lashes even when I'm not. So this is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I love it. It's my go-to everyday mascara. Let's go to primers. Two primers that I used a ton are from Tarte. This is the Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. This is really, really nice at filling in your pores. It's kind of almost like a putty consistency and you just dig a little bit out and then you press it into your pores. It really does give you a smooth base to work with. I love the way that it sort of like makes my skin. It honestly gives you that clean slate and poreless skin. For a luminizing primer. I went back to the Becca uh, backlight priming filter this year. I love this so much. It just gives really beautiful luminosity. You can add it to your foundation or you can put it on your skin before you put on foundation, but it just gives the skin really pretty luminosity and it makes your skin appear healthy. I like to mix this with super matte foundations because it gives that really nice healthy glow. Another product that is similar along those lines, this is the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. This product has like taken my heart. This is a number one fair, but I also have light and medium. They're, they're just, they come in a bunch of different shades. Comes with a doe foot applicator. You can use this again before your foundation. You can use it as foundation or you can use it as a highlighter. It just gives the skin this just really, really beautiful like Hollywood glow. Um, I love it a lot and it is used all the time. Sometimes I'll put this just on the high points of my face before I put on foundation and then I put my foundation on top and it just, it really does just give this beautiful, youthful, glowing look. I really have two foundations that I kind of went between the majority of the year and these I've talked about a few these before but I really like the YSL Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow Foundation. I love this a lot. I have the shade B20. I've done a full review on this. It's just a really nice fresh dewy makeup and I was really into like a little bit more youthful skin. I mix this a lot too with a little something with a little bit more coverage although I do feel like this gave me a lot of coverage. This foundation, I just, this never gets old. This foundation just looks so beautiful on the skin. It's the Dior Forever Perfect Makeup Everlasting Wear Pore Refining Effect with Sunscreen. I have the shade 020. That's what I'm wearing on my face today. It is just the most beautiful foundation and it just gives you that flawless look, honestly. Um, and I love how long this wears on my skin. It doesn't break up, so... These are my two go-to. Concealers, I used these the majority of the year. This is the Laura Mercier 
uh, what is this called? The Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. This just makes my under eyes not look crepey. I can't do the sh Tarte shape tape, shape tape. It just makes my eyes immediately look old. This gives me a little bit more of that, a youthful appearance. I do need to set it with a little bit of powder, but sometimes if I don't want to use powder under my eyes, I just use the warmth of my fingers and kind of like let it set a little bit. And then if it creases, I go back in and sort of push the product in and I don't have trouble. It's just a beautiful product. Another one that I like, but I can only use a tiny little bit of it because it is so full coverage. This is the Jouer. Uh, essential high coverage liquid concealer it says it's creaseless soft matte and it has hyaluronic acid in it so therefore it is going to be really nice for plumping under the eyes this is just a really great concealer i'm using the color chiffon and i just put like a couple of dots um under my eyes like i said and blend it out with a beauty blender i love these two so much and definitely both my go-to for setting my concealer i have stuck with this all year. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Powder in number one fair. I finally hit pan on it, which makes me feel good inside because I'm like, you did something. You really did something here. So this is just a really, really nice powder. It's super duper fine and it really does look flawless on the skin. It does, it's not heavy. It just doesn't look like you're wearing a ton. So that's why it's perfect for the under eyes, but it's also great for all over the face. So this is just a really nice setting powder. Now I have one bronzer that I have just talked about every single time and I can't help myself because this is the high end bronzer that I use all the time. And this is the Hourglass Luminous Bronze Light. So this is the one that I originally bought, used, loved, and like have almost hit pan on. And when I, I keep that one in this room just when I'm, you know, getting ready in here. And this one I keep in my, my bathroom. Now, the thing is with this bronzer, I lost it for a little bit, so I repurchased it. And that's why, because this is one of those products that I cannot go without. This is my perfect bronzer if I had to have one and it just gives, it has some shimmer to it, but it just gives a lot of like life to the face. So this is just a favorite and a go-to and I will probably always include it in my yearly favorites. Okay, I have two blushes. One is the liquid blush from NARS. This is in Orgasm. I use this so much. A little bit goes a long way. You just do a tiny, I'm just gonna show you like a tiny little bit. And this is just such a phenomenal product. It just is such a beautiful color. It just gives like, it dries like a, um, it has like a sheen to it, but it dries like a powder. So I just put a little bit on the back of my hand. I dip a stippling brush into it and I buff it into my, my, um, cheeks and it's just a beautiful beautiful blush and I feel like it stays on my face all the time I like using it in the summertime in the winter time all year round I'm really like a liquid blush fan so if you haven't tried those they're beautiful a blush that I just always have to have is like my standby my travel with me and I use it the majority of the year I always reach for this sweats on my cheeks now is this is the Charlotte Tilbury ecstasy blush these blushes are incredible. There's so many really good ones, but this one, I just, I love it. It's just a really pretty like peach and it just makes your cheeks look alive. And I just feel like you can't go wrong with it. Like I said, that's what I'm wearing right now. And it's just a perfect everyday go-to. I chose one highlighter because truthfully, this highlighter was something that I had to tell myself, you can have to stop using it. You have to, because you have to give other highlighters an opportunity to live a life and you cannot keep playing favorites. But this is something that I wanna play favorites with. This is the Persona uh, Cali Glow Highlighter. I keep almost dropping every single product, by the way. I have fiddle fingers. This is in Zuma. This is literally my perfect highlighter. I love it so much. The product is like soft and beautiful and I, I like golden but peachy but it's perfect. It's literally perfect. So what I'm wearing, I can, I honestly, I can't stop wearing it. The butteriness of this is like, it's just, it's so beautiful. It's just so beautiful. It blends out just a little bit, goes a long way. I mean, this highlighter, if you, if you get one thing, get this highlighter, I'm telling you, it's perfection. Okay. Last category, lips. 
So a lip liner that I just couldn't stay away from. This is the It Cosmetics Your Lips But Better. I talk about this all the time. This one's in Buff Nude. It's just the perfect shade. It's like this perfect nude pink that goes with anything. These are waterproof. They stain your lips. So you put it on once, you're going to be wearing it all day. The Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Liner is what I'm wearing right now. And I will say the lip combo that I'm wearing right now is my go-to every single day lip combination. So this is what I wore, I would say, probably 90% of the year. Uh, this lip liner is honestly the perfect shade. It just is like the perfect nude. It blends in. It It's creamy. It's beautiful. I, I love these two both so much. But this is what I'm, is on my lips, and I'm going to show you what I use. So I do the Iconic Nude first, and then I take this lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. This is in Kim KW. It's just, for me, like, a, it's a super nude lipstick, so let's not act like it's not. But it is a super nude lipstick, so I put that on top of the lip pencil, which the lip pencil is a little bit darker and more brownie, and this is like super pink and nude. So I put that on, and then I top it with the Fenty Beauty Lip Gloss in, or Gloss Balm in the Universal shade, the, the first one, Fenty Glow, this one. And I just put that like in the center of my lips. These lip glosses have like taken the entire year for me. So that's in the center of my lips. Every time I wear this combination, people ask me what I'm wearing. It's usually always this combination, always topped with this. And I think this is the shine. It gives so much shine and like fullness to the lips that this is what people ask about all the time. Like honestly, if you have slid into my DMs and been like, what's your lip combo? I will answer you with that gloss probably the majority of the time. So Fenty came out with two new colors this year, which I was really excited about. I highly recommend this one. I use this almost as much. This is the one in Diamond Milk, which it just is more of like, I would say, oh, I mean, it's like a creamy white, but I wear that when I wear like more cool tone looks on the eyes and I kind of want, this brings a little bit more cool tone to it. And then this is the pink. So, I mean, still super pretty. I, I, I can't pick a favorite but these are the two new shades. I wear them all, and they all smell really, really good. Other favorite lip products, this is from MAC, and it's the lipstick called Mmm. This is a little bit darker than the Kim KW, and it's like more of like a mauve shade. That's just another go-to for me. I love that one, so I will wear, you know, like maybe the It Cosmetics lip liner with that lipstick, and then I'll top it with this gloss from Buxom. This is the Blushing Margarita. If you like White Russian, you're missing its twin sister in Blushing Margarita. This twin is a fraternal twin. It's not identical, so it's a little bit more of like a pink to it, um, but it is just beautiful, so that's that one right there. Gives a little bit of minty feel, but gives a nice glossy appearance to the lips, and just like a little bit of like a cream pink. And then this liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star, this is in Mannequin, is a really nice go-to. It's my go-to liquid lip that I used this year, and it's just like this perfect nudie color right there. I am sure I forgot some products, but honestly, when it boils down to it, those were when I was going through my makeup, the closest to, to me and the ones that I grab for and reach for all the time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please check down below for that giveaway because I really want one of you guys to really enjoy those eyeshadow palettes from Jouer. They're just so good. And if you didn't win, go buy them. They're really so perfect and I feel like not a ton of people talk about how great they are. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave some of your favorites down below. I love hearing what you guys love as well. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.